the expectation of winning or the motivation. You shouldn't have any outside motivation if you're going to do this. You should already have that drive to just, I want to fight people. Yeah. I want to win. I want to be the best that I can absolutely be. Yeah. If there's, if you're only going to have that motivation because somebody new came into your life, you shouldn't be here. Yeah. Like You're like, I want to be the best, and you should have that internal motivation. Welcome to the Fuel Hunt Show. What's going on, Eagles? Welcome to the Fuel Hunt Show. I'm Joey, and I'm joined, as always, by my cousin and co-founder, Drew. Today, we have two, count them, one, two, special guests on the show. First time, right? We've had four yeah, people are... simultaneously on the show. Yeah, cousins and brothers are the same. Look at that, right? Yeah, so I cool. couldn't think of a better duo. We have Chris and Kyle <laughs> Dawkins here with us today. And astutely, yes, we're cousins, they're brothers. Astutely, look at that. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Um, Thank you for coming in today, guys. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Chris, you've been on the show, actually every show that we've ever done because uh, your <laughs> likeness right is behind us. <laughs> my uh, right? my face. Yeah, yeah, right? Not yeah. his first time. Yeah. You've also traveled the country with us. Yeah. All the events that we do, you come yeah. with us. You know what I mean? So it's part of That's our, a That was a fire setup. photo shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Nick shout Bespie. Out, yeah, shout out Nick Bespie. Bespie. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Nick. Yeah. I think you introduced me to Nick originally. I think we did, yeah. Yeah. Because he shot you guys and he said, and you said, hey, like he mm. really wants to work with you. Oh, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was all through, through these um, guys. That was the day you learned about the Philly Knot. You had no, not known what the Philly Knot yeah, was I before that. I didn't know then. about the Philly Knot. Yeah, I, the Philly that's knot. right. Yeah. I, was, I didn't the, know about uh, the Philly Knot. Oh, it was like a hoodie knot? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. It's a Philly it's, thing? Okay. Which is, it's hard that. for me to admit. <laughs> yeah. It's very difficult for me to admit. Is uh, there a, that, that actually like blew me away that you didn't know about the Philly Knot? Is there a possibility that there's like a. It's because of the age gap. I believe it's a it's a Northeast Philly thing predominantly. Probably. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I grew up in the Northeast. You didn't grow. You, you're kind oh, of Philly. yeah, but you're like kind of a Northeast guy. But like, when did you move out of uh, Fox Chase? Well, Fox Chase is Northeast. We don't consider yeah, no, that, that, does, that doesn't count. That doesn't what? Count. No, I, don't think, I mean, I don't think Mayfair. It counts like I was I was a yeah. Mayfair when yeah, I was. We're like Mayfair Tech Yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah, the heart, well, of, you, the heart yeah, of Northeast. Yeah, you might as well have yeah, been yeah. in the suburbs. The bur- so yeah, the right. Just about, especially when yeah. he, he, especially when he was there, that was like, yeah, this is an identity that was crisis like, for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, uh, this is an we're identity like, crisis. We're like, we don't claim you. Yeah, no. definitely not. All right, so then I'm but, gonna have to stick with like Nice Town, North you, Philly. You would say Philly, you'd Kensington. Say Philly. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll stick with that side of it. But when I learned of the of the Philly, not like that, we were doing it in Mayfair. Like that was like back in the day. Like Mayfair. Yeah, I was just knew that that was a thing. But are you like, guys even the same like, age? How old are you guys? I'm, I'll be 35 this month. I'm 31. 31. Okay. I'm 33, so we're on the same. Yeah. Right, so where's I think it was, a, I think it was a tie, uh, an North. age gap thing. Probably. Uh, Northeast? North Catholic. Uh, North, you went to North Catholic? Yeah. But, I went uh, to North Catholic and then graduated from Judge because my senior yeah, year, yeah, yeah. they closed. It closed. Yeah. Yeah. Were you in, I mean, this is, were you in anti grade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't know oh, that. Look at that. You guys are much different. Wait, I think he might be a year below me. He he, uh, he graduated from Judge too. I don't know if it was the last yeah, I graduated, year. Though, I graduated okay. in eleven. Aunt Tywick, Brianna's mm. husband. Yes. That's, yeah, yeah. Wow. So uh, I knew it was in North Carolina. D one wrestler. Yeah, that, we could have been D one. D one wrestler. <laughs> so explain the Philly knots since we're we're talking about uh, the Philly knot. I mean, basically, it's when you tie the of a pull over hoodie, you tie the the knot into a little nice little bow, yeah. and yeah, it's Philly right knots. Okay. You can't see in the picture, but yeah. So I'm I'm gonna go with since I'm 42. I'm gonna go with the fact that it's just like an age. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe exactly. it just uh, maybe yeah. it just developed later, and I was already out. I don't know. I, no, it I could be. I was like, what? we didn't wear many hoodies. It was all like white t-shirts. That's I it. mean, that's all we wore, and Tim's. And yeah, 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 yeah. Yuck. We. I yeah. feel like I feel like we all had that phase though. You guys. Yeah. I, so Chris is like, phases. I never had that phase. I never, I never had a white, t- a white tea Tim's phase. Never. No, you didn't. No. My white, Kel might have, but I, I, didn't, I didn't. There's some photos floating around Kel. You'll, you'll see yeah, them. She's yeah. got the white tees on with some Tim's. See, it's a thing. Yeah. And the, and the, and the gold hoops. Back, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say anymore. I love my wife. I know. I, I, love, I, I love that she is, she is got rid it's of that It's too early one. in the show to be getting into it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. My phone's going to be blowing up. It's too She's early like, into the show. It's a good thing this ain't live. Thank God. It's a good thing yeah, it ain't live. Kelly's going to be pissed. Um, so, yeah, like I said, you, you've, you've been on the show with us um, every show since the very beginning, right? You were, you were over there in the middle, then we yep. changed sets, but um, you're here. So uh, you share that, uh, that throne with Shane. Shane sitting behind you, so we had him on. His likeness has been on every show, too, which is cool. Um, the community knows you guys well. Uh, they know your accolades. Uh, what we want to talk about is the come up, because yep. 
wasn't easy, right? I mean, no. it never mm -hmm. is. It looks easy after it's done, but um, it wasn't easy. And that's what our community really relates to. So um, we'll talk a little bit about that, you know, growing okay. up, how you got into the game, what's it like being brothers in the game, what's mm -hmm. it like being dads yeah. in the game, uh, anything else? No. We should probably just address the elephant in the room that we're also, well, I'll give you your flowers, which I've which I've done before, but thank you both for getting me involved in jujitsu because it wasn't for you too. Um, I wouldn't have started. And um, I know for you guys, it was probably just like, we'll just invite this dude uh, to come in to get his ass kicked. Uh, but for me, it meant much more and it's it's literally changed my life. And I, I sound like a walking blue belt probably when I say yeah. that, but um, it has, you know, on many levels. My life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on many levels, it's it's really changed my outlook and how I approach life. So thank you, of course, for, yeah. for that. Um, so we're teammates at at Martinez, yep. uh, BJJ, not too far from here, Frankfurt and Cotman in Philly, and um, Tuesdays now. The dread. I'm in the room. The dread. Um, he's, he's, joined, the room. he's joined the dark side. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the room with you guys. I'm joined the dark side. So on uh, Tuesday and Thursday, there are there are two rooms at Martinez. Uh, one room is gi. One room is no gi. It just so happens that in the no gi room. Um, there are humans that are significantly larger and more skilled than <laughs> on the key side. Uh, so, I've joined, so I've joined the dark side on Tuesdays, and um, I've, I've started training with the guys here. Oh, just Tuesdays. He can't make well, it those Lamar, days. Well, is it Lamont? Yeah. Um, I, I'm doing what I can to make it both days, but I, I, I do have loyalty to, to the other room. Got so it. even on Tuesdays, I've been putting the gi on after no gi and going over to the gi Does Lamont coach on Tuesdays? Yeah, as well. He right. So you already, so you already, you already fucking Lamont over on Tuesdays. You just don't want. To oh do yeah, it and I'm here, and I'm here. All right, you just yeah, don't want to do it Tuesdays. Trader, Benedict Arnold. Yeah. You know, God. I need to be hanged. Like all, the, all <laughs> the good stuff. Yeah, yeah all God. the good stuff. Yeah. That's wrong. That's yeah. aggressive. Yeah, that's basic in our room. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. basic. So if yeah. if you want to come have a good banter back and forth, definitely come to Tuesday Thursday class. Yeah, yeah. The interesting thing is, in in the on the gi side, it happens before class. On the no gi side, it happens after class. God, that's, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's kind of like what I'm learning. Yeah. Yep. So, um, so yeah, Tuesdays have been uh, have been amazing um, so far. So I'm just gonna put it out there, and if anybody wants to take it and cut on me, they can during the show. Um, <laughs> Tuesdays have uh, have been amazing. So. Um, let's get into uh, the come up a little bit with you guys. Uh, so your brothers, both pros in the fight game. Mm -hmm. um, what? When did you get your start in jujitsu? Was it MMA first? Like, take the community through the beginnings. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, you can. Well, we're both athletes. We've always kind of played sports growing up. Yeah. Um, for me, high school hit. Um, I decided to try wrestling like freshman year. Mm -hmm. uh, that lasted about a week. I was like, I'm not really, I don't really want to do this. They said that we need to be there at 6 a.m. running, running stairs and stuff like that, and I just kind of wasn't for it. Yeah. Um, I was weak-minded in, in a way, thinking about it now. Um, but yeah, he always drove past uh, a gym in Fox Chase uh, mm -hmm. for college that he went to, and uh, finally like made the jump, went over to it, told yeah. me about it. I was yeah. like, <clears throat> he described passing the guy's guard. He was like, I threw my, I threw the guy's legs one way. Yeah. Tried to go the other way, and he magically like spun and was still in front of him. And yeah. I was like, "What is this dude talking about? Like, what's going on here?" So, um, yeah, I decided to join up. Fell in love with it. Obviously, we watched fights growing up, but uh, yeah, that's how I started. At least he, he yeah, he, he got me into it. It was pretty much the same thing. Um, after high school, going to Penn State, mm -hmm. it was you know like he said, we were athletes playing yeah. sports in high school. I did had that void going into college. Um, so I was driving past MMA gym, and it was literally like three years. I was like driving past this place. I was like, I'll eventually go there. And then yeah. it was like this one week I bought like shorts, and I was yeah. like, they showed up at my house, and I'm like, all oh, right, now I gotta go. Now I gotta go. <laughs> like, what am I gonna wear these shorts for? You know, I, like there were black sprawl shorts with like the sprawl was like oh, yellow. The, sprawl, the basic, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. basic like everyone's OG shorts. So yeah. I was like, all right. So I just showed up, and that was pretty much it. Yeah. And it was just from there on out. That's what I did. That's what everything was supposed to be yeah, yeah. actually b before so a funny story before we, we actually yeah. even signed up at any gym yeah i remember that uh my mom lived um down on delaware ave uh, up on delaware ave by maggie's waterfront and we had a, mm -hmm. we had a nice size basement uh, with carpets and stuff so we would actually train and roll in the basement yeah uh, just right. us yeah and like one of my buddies my buddy before Mike you, would come up before yeah before you we even attempted to train we uh, were just okay. You were rolling. watching it on like VHS. yeah, we were watching watching yeah. UFC fights and stuff like that. We we're like, yeah, yeah, we could do this. So we started rolling in the in the basement and stuff. Not punching um, it. 
No, 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 no strictly no. jujitsu. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and we heard about Grappler's Quest. The Grappler's Quest was like a famous uh, yeah. uh, grappling tournament back in the day, mm-hmm. and uh, there was one in Lancaster. Yeah. And we decided to sign up for it with no training. When, well, no. there was training. There was it training was, in the baseball. Was, but was, there was nothing like it was us. No, we never we never went to like any any gym or anything like that. Yeah, so there we, was, we were putting in rounds. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. So we talked to my mom. We were like, "Hey, like, there's a grappling tournament coming up in Lancaster," and she's like, "What is grappling? Look, what is this?" And we're like, "It's kind of like wrestling on the ground. Like, we want to go do it if you don't mind, you know, driving us." So she drove us. Oh, that's amazing. That's kind of how it kicked off. How old are you? I'm 31. Uh, how at the time? Sorry. At the time, I was 16, 15, yeah. 16. Yeah, 15, 16. And how did that grapplers quest go? There was only one guy in my division, yeah. and I lost. But you know, <laughs> how did the, the match? How did the match? Uh, I think I lost on points. Okay. okay. I think he like mounted me, and that was about. I think I lost on points. That was probably okay. yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't probably too, the, the testament to the rounds you were getting. Yeah. Chris. You just, yeah, yeah. 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 I was used to, and back in yeah. like back then, I was like I was huge. So like I was like I was like 250 myself. Oh really? So at the time, yeah. I was what heavyweight as well. Yeah. 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 Same thing, right? Really. Yeah. I showed up to the division. It was like one dude, maybe yeah. another, like two dudes. Still medaled, so. Yeah. 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 Still yeah. get the medal. Still get the medal. How is that, Chris, going home with some hardware? You're probably like, yeah, that was like, still yeah. medaled. I was like, yeah, like yeah, so I, well, you got a silver that day. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah there's only two guys in there, so yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so it was either like me and I was like, that's like, not too bad. Yeah. That was amazing. You got a the deck in your hand, you know? Do you still have them? Do you still have them? Probably not. Maybe, maybe not. They're probably I mean, when you have the. Agways they have now. I feel like that. Yeah, the, the grapplers quest. quest. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, listen, I Bottom my so I don't, I don't really tell anybody this, but like my CFFC belts yeah. are in my garage in like a Tupperware case. Like, <laughs> yeah. I I mean I'm not yeah. I don't really keep them. But I think maybe like that's that. I mean that's your mindset though too. The mindset yeah. that you guys have yeah. like it's yeah. always forward, right? Like yeah. you know yeah. never done. Nah, you know what yeah. I mean? So the, it's like. Yeah. The the college you were driving to, Chris, is that Ben Abington? Abington, yeah. Were you okay. driving past the gym on Rowan Street? Is that- yeah, it's Semper Fi. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, so that's, that's where, where I started too. Yeah, that's where we started at Semper Fi. So like we started like like no one like knows about it. It's talks about it. Like we started we started with like Danielle Kelly. Yeah. Like Sean, Sean Brady. Like, yeah. Oh, they everyone was in that room at yeah. one time. That's crazy. It's like, wild yeah. to think. Yeah. yeah. The like, level of grappling and MMA that came from that gym. Yeah. yeah. Like it's yeah. absolutely insane. Yeah. Like we started there. Sean, Danielle, like we were training with Joey when we would come, like when we decided yeah. to start like fighting, mm-hmm. we would go down to balance. And like, this was years ago, all the guys who were like the pros then when we were amateurs, yeah. they were all at balance studios on Sunday sparring. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like people like Joe Tim Williams, about that room that yeah. Sunday. Yeah. 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 Tim Williams, Timmy Carpenter, yeah. Yeah. like Sam Burson, Anton Burson, Sam Morpizo. Like yeah. everyone who was like in Bellator, like in the tournaments, like mm. that's where they were going. They were and like we were training with like, and then Joey was there too. So yeah. like we've known yeah. Joey since he was, you know, 15, 15 16, years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've known Joey for that, wow. that long. Wow, you're right. It's, it's like everybody sees, you know, what you've done. They see the now yeah. mm-hmm. and they forget like yeah. the, the, that it, not only was it difficult, but it was long. Yeah, like, it was a I'm, long, grueling. I hated. Road. I hated going out of balance. Yeah, because yeah. I was Sundays always. It was like I was a bigger kid, so the people yeah. that we were going with were like heavyweights and mm-hmm. like light heavyweights, but they were like pros who were fighting for a million dollars in the Bellator tournament. Yeah. So they're not taking any like rounds off, mm-hmm. and you're just yep. like some kid who's like, yeah, I want to like fight. Their conditioning is probably different than yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. like whooping your ass. And yeah, I'm I never forget first my first round was against Timmy Carpenter, yeah. and he hit me with like a one two and ripped the body, and then literally judo threw me, and literally like hit me on the mat, and I'm looking up at the mat at the ceiling, and I'm like, I've never experienced anything like that. I, I had to take the rest of the round off. He not like first yeah. time I ever been dropped with a body shot. Like it was the the worst yeah. feeling ever. Yeah, yeah. But, that's, like, that's but then like you a, kept coming back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's that's a testament insane. to like where we are now. Like, yeah, yeah. We've seen those guys, and I, I've said this all the time. Like, my head coach Juan Martinez was in a Bellator tournament training, like when we first started. So yeah. these mm-hmm. guys were, you know, they had a set squad that was training. So they've like really instilled like the hard work and, and yeah. dedication yeah. that you need to get to where mm-hmm. they were. That kind of showed us. T- um, like path. where we could yeah. be in the path, path. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Showed and you the way. Like at the gym now, we have guys that are kind of where we were when we first started, and they mm-hmm. see us kind of as we saw them. Mm-hmm. So it's it's yeah. kind of at what cool point in that journey from like Semper Fi to the balanced uh, era, like were you guys like okay, I want to take this more seriously and go be in that and like get those crazy rounds and and try and take this to the next level, like like what happen in your guys lives or heads that you're like okay we're gonna take this more seriously because like 
that's gotta be tough to go get your fucking ass beat by Tim Carpenter. Like, yeah, it oh, sucked. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. at what point, what drove you to want to take it to the next level? You know what I mean? Like, to these. Uh, me, really, it was just like, I, I just wanted to at least have one fight. Like, at the time, mm-hmm. I was 2010. For me, it was like 2010 ish. I was still in college, still kind of like up in the air. Like, I didn't know what I was like doing in life. And I'm like, all right, let me just like take a fight and then we'll yeah, see. Just see so, what happens. Like he said, the head coach Will Martinez was like, if you're going to do this, you have to like dedicate a year. Like, I don't want you to just be like, yeah, willy nilly just going in there and you get your ass beat, yeah. get some, some hurt, you know, whatever. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll take a year. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, I signed up for the police academy. I decided to do that. And then mm-hmm. during that year, 2011, I go into the police academy in like August and I took my first fight my first amateur fight it was literally the week before like me and my dad didn't speak because of that because he's like you're taking a fight a week before you go in the police academy like what happens if you like break your hand you break your foot something yeah. happens like so we didn't speak for a while about that but yeah. uh that's first just kind of how it lined up yeah that's just yeah, that's, that's literally how it happened it was like all right we finally were you a, were you a year into that promise with will yeah yeah it, it was yeah it was it was right at like so it's just how it like all it's, lines it's up. literally just how it yeah. Yeah. Out, yeah 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 so for me uh like when i started i knew like not that i knew but like my main goal was i always saw myself being in the ufc and fighting in the ufc like and i first started Mm-hmm. And I, I like told my mom that from the very beginning. I told everybody that I knew from the very beginning that that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. So it's something that's always kind of, I had a, like a, like a feeling that like I can do that, mm-hmm. and that, that's where my started. Like growing up, um, like as far as like work and stuff like that, I worked maybe, maybe three jobs for like a month. I worked at Sesame Place for a month. <laughs> oh. I sold Christmas trees for like two weeks, mm-hmm. and I did some landscaping here and there. But that's yeah. about it. Every, my whole life has been fighting ever since I started. You figure out a way to support yourself yeah. through yeah. jiu-jitsu and, yeah. and MMA. That's exactly. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I tell everyone, too. Like that's like you don't have to just get a job just to get a job. Like you mm-hmm. can find ways to support yourself mm-hmm. through doing what you love. Like there's, there's always – It ain't always going to be pretty. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? But the, the ability to do what you love – I think mm-hmm. helps you smooth over all the rough edges and all the yeah. you know rough stuff it takes to provide for yourself while you're yeah. doing it. Yeah, Absolutely. when you have that yeah. feeling, when you have that feeling, it's gonna pay off in the end. Yeah, it makes it that much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. What so what sports did you play growing up? Literally everything. Like okay, so every yeah. all year round. Yeah, it was soccer, organized and unorganized. Yeah, just it was like just soccer, football, lot, football right? basketball, baseball, yeah. whatever is whatever time of year it was, whatever sport is that time of year. That's yeah. pretty much what we were playing. I got you. Our main thing was lacrosse, though. Yeah, oh, we especially played lacrosse in high school. In high school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's interesting okay. about the North wrestling thing? I wrestled for uh, for Wood, and North would always win everything all the time. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. And I swear it was. I always say this to people, I'm like, the reason they they won everything is they were fucking up at 6 a.m. running stairs when, yep. we were, when we were only practicing. Running stairs through. before school and then yeah, practicing like afterwards. They were, yep. the, Coach Sav, Savage, yeah. I think I was yep. like, he was like fucking, I don't know where he's at now, but like he was it, dude. I, mean, he I had think them, he might be a wood now. Real? No, really? He, I think he, he was at The judge. last thing I heard, he was coaching at Judge, judge or teaching at a, Judge, uh, judge. Yeah. but then he got yeah. a job. I think I got wood or somewhere yeah. else. Oh, that's yeah. wild. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's cool. So, yeah, I mean, was about to get a new wrestling program. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they were putting in fucking work, dude. Yep. Like, yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah. That's, that's, I think that's what they were mostly known for. Like, Eddie Alvarez mm-hmm. wrestled at yep. yeah. wrestled North. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, they, have, they had a lot of good guys from there. It's so interesting that you gave it a go and you were like, this isn't for me. Yeah. It was literally like It was week. weird. Yeah, like, it was literally like a week, yeah. you said, yeah. That's like, it. my... I call. I, I still. I to this day. I still remember getting the weird, weird feeling in my stomach in the parking lot at wrestling, talking to my dad, being like, "I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, like, this, yeah. Is, this is what I want to do." And he was like, "Well, you can't quit." He was like, "I don't want you to quit it." And I was like, "Okay, yeah. well, I'm, I'm quitting." quitting. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. How long was that again that you like uh, tried it out? Like a week. L- literally a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was. I think it was an accumulation of like. Five days altogether. That's yeah. that's really how it is. It was like, yeah. like some random kid, like my friend in high school, was like, "Yeah, like I'm doing the workouts. Like I'm doing the workouts with the, the off season workouts. Like okay. we just go in the room and like figure it out." And like he ended up not doing it, and mm-hmm. I ended up staying. Like I don't know why. Like I wasn't a, a mentally dialed in kid at the time, but like I yeah. just for some reason just stayed. And like yeah. I, I went like twelve and twelve my senior year, but like it wasn't great. But like I think being in that room at that time in my life like did a lot for me. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So you guys, you guys grappling in the basement. Yeah. Do you think 
do you think that because it was the both of you as brothers doing that together, that that kind of, I don't know, gave you extra incentive or enjoyment out of the grappling aspect of things since you wanted nothing to do with the wrestling? To be honest, I don't know what the difference was between it because yeah, yeah. I think I trained harder now. I think I trained harder when I started training jujitsu than yeah, I did, yeah. uh, than I would have when I was training in wrestling. Yeah. Like when I started in high school, all, when I was in, in class, all I could think about was training, 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 yeah, yeah. training. And he was there, and I was like, all right, well, I have somebody here who who will be here the whole time. Yeah. Like yeah. he he yeah. wasn't he wasn't working at the time or anything like that. So he was here. He was an accountable you know training partner that I had. Mm -hmm. yeah. That and we had a basement. I can just be like, yo, let's go downstairs. We'll train a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Was that like every day? Pretty much. Probably. Like, yeah, yeah. Just I, can't, about, yeah. I can't imagine the dog rounds that were had between mm -hmm. two teenage. But we were white belts all the time. Yeah. Probably, if you look <laughs> back on the yeah, yeah, it's probably it's like, stop. Just, yeah. Yeah. just yeah. stop. Yeah. I'm saying the two teenage white belt doggers brothers. Yep. Probably, you guys probably just <laughs> fucking beating the shit out of each other. Yeah. <laughs> Any, uh, <laughs> no technique whatsoever. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Any injuries or anything to report from those early days between the two of you? No, you ever get chippy? Yeah, yeah, no, nothing. Maybe a little rug burn. That's about it. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Yeah, did too you crazy. have mats? Uh, no, mats. No, no, it was, it was literally, carpet. There was a carpet. No, it, was, it was literally a concrete floor, and there was a, there was <laughs> a carpet, carpet on, top. on top, and that was it. Like a twelve by twelve. <laughs> it was literally that's it. Yeah, that's, that's all it was. Jesus. Amazing, man. Amazing. Start from the basement. Yeah. This is the, a lot of good things. A lot of good things come from the basement. A lot of good things start in the basement, man. A lot of good things. So. um you, uh, how'd the first fight go? I won it? first round rear naked choke. Okay. Yeah. Right. So that was the first amateur fight. That was a CFFC amateur fight? No, that uh, was a lock. No. No. Uh, what was it? XFE? Locked in the cage. It wasn't locked in the cage? No. Nah. Uh, okay. It might have been locked in the cage or locked something like that. Locked in the cage? Yeah. 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 There's been so many. Yeah. There's so many going around here. Yeah. yeah. Coming yeah. Over the years. I think it was locked <clears> in the cage. It was literally. The amateur rounds are two minutes, so like we mm -hmm. came out, oh, scrapped yeah. a little bit. He threw like a body kick. I caught it, took him down. He like rolled his back, and I ran right. a choke, but no hooks. It was literally just uh, right yeah. on his neck and tapped out, and that was it. Damn. Yeah. Right. yeah. So what's the feeling like going then into the academy after? I didn't want to do it. That I, was, I just wanted to fight. Like that is the greatest yeah. feeling ever is winning a, a fist yeah, fight. Get your hand yeah. yeah there's nothing that compares like nothing compares to it yeah and in any level like whether it's your first fight or the ufc the, there's nothing that compares yeah to like it. the the amateur first amateur fight might have felt uh, like, like maybe the best, the maybe the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly I, I i literally got in the back i was like i'm i'm never not going to do this again i'm totally doing this again that's like yeah. Like my dad came in the back. He's like, "Oh, did you get that out of your system?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, totally, <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. Until the next one. Yeah, totally, dude. For today. Uh, yeah, For today. until I get out of the academy, and then I can just continue to uh, keep doing it. Yeah. And how long? How long did you end up being a cop for? Ten years. Wow. Yeah, ten years and twenty fifth. So it's like ten minutes on the road. So, and you were fighting that whole time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, fighting the whole time. When you were in the academy, you couldn't fight. Uh, no. Nah. Did you take amateur fights when you were? Nah. Uh, was it like a six month next question? The academy was like six months ago. Yeah, 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 the academy okay. was, uh, I think they extended yeah. it to like eight months. Um, yeah. And literally the last two months was us watching movies. Yeah. It was really like <laughs> watching like cop movies. Like yeah. they'd be like, well, you're done everything for like, like the state exam. And it, you'd be like, yeah. You'd be police like, academy. Police yeah, academy. Police <laughs> like yeah. heat, like all those like cop oh, movies. Yeah. It, it's it's, I don't know, it's yeah. the Philadelphia Police Department. Yeah, well, now yeah, we know what the Philadelphia yeah. Police Department is. Yeah, it's, <laughs> so, training is like. yeah. But no, it was it was great. And then might have taken a fight here or there in the academy yeah. or out of the academy or sure, whatever. Sure, 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 You know, I always use my own time. I never yeah. asked for any kind of handouts or anything. Yeah. Always, yeah. always got hurt. If I got hurt, I got hurt at work. So, uh, yeah, 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 I got you. But I it got was, you. It was, was it... Um, Copacetic to be doing it while you were a, an officer, though. Yeah, I, okay. as long as like you, you had a cool supervisor, like yeah, it was yeah. cool. Like I always had cool supervisors. Um, that's why they give you sick time to sure. make sure that you can use your sick time. Um, yeah. uh, the only bad thing is normally fights are Friday or Saturday nights, and yeah. Friday or Saturday nights in the Twenty Fifth District is not the quietest places. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's. Uh, I mean, one you're not going to miss one cop, but if like. 
I'm not there, and then like another person calls out with like a family emergency, then it's <laughs> and you need all those you need to sell those tickets to your friends. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing. Like uh, growing, like he would sell tickets, I wouldn't sell any tickets, and the promoters <laughs> would be like, "Yo, what's the, you need to sell tickets?" And I'm like, "All my working. friends are cops." Dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, no one, like yeah. my yeah. friends got to work. Where I'm not working. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like my whole squad can't be off, and like you know what I mean. Yeah. So, so, well, did you ever feel the weight of not being at work for your squad while you were fighting? Um, or is that something that like you, you're so mission focused on the yeah, fight? Yeah, it was, that, it was that, really, it was really that. I mean, the only time I ever felt that was like, I was on vacation. I want to say yeah. when so doing the riots or something like that. not even, not even doing a ride when, um, the 15th street job, uh, mm -hmm. broad and Erie, yeah. they, um, I forget what thing is narcotics units. Ended up hitting a the house. They ended up getting trapped inside the house. There was like three, four narcotics units. That I remember that. Trapped I remember in the house. that. Mm -hmm. Right at 15th and Broad Street. And I would have been yeah. working, but I was on vacation. Like I was just on vacation, like yeah. hanging out at my house, like a staycation. Like me and my wife didn't have anything planned or anything. So we we're like, all right, we're just going to hang out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to go to work. And she's yeah. like, you're not going to work. And I'm like, did you go? I'm going to go. No, I didn't. Because uh, at yeah. that point, by the time I noticed, I, I was told about it. Yeah. It was like two hours later. Yeah. So yeah. how that happens is like if yeah. any major event happens, it's, if you're not there within like five minutes, you're just exactly. going to be like pulling perimeter duty and just like hanging yeah. out. So. For sure. um, yeah. so you said after that first fight, you got that feeling of like, I'm never not doing this. Yeah. Um, yeah. 100%. Were you all, so I talk with entrepreneurship and like when I'm coaching people and whatnot, I'm telling them like, you're going to get to this point in your career where you're like having success in one area mm -hmm. and in your side hustle, which is, which is fighting at the time. And then you're going to be like, oh, fuck this, what I'm doing. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. At the, and like, so did you almost like have that feeling of discontent or like disdain? Or, uh, they're harsh words, but like that, those feelings, like from the moment you started, like all the, those 10 years, you were kind of like, damn, I really want to be doing this the yeah, whole time. The, like going through the academy was awesome. Graduating, that's, that's what I wanted to do. And then it was like, the fighting was like, still like whispering in the back of my head. Like, yeah. it's like, yo, you want to fight? Like, let's fight. And then it's like, then it came a point in time where it's like, I'm no longer like, it was more so of like, I'm being a police officer to pay my bills mm -hmm. so that I can focus on fighting when I'm not at home or when I'm not at work. Yeah. And that's, it was like, all right. So I didn't have any kind of like. I can't imagine. Yeah. Show, like the bullshit that you guys put up with the tw the, tw the twenty fifth district. Like, oh, yeah. you're like, adult, dude, like what you're, the you're fuck? adult. I'm, I was a 20, 22 year old kid fixing forty five year old people's <laughs> adult problems when yeah. they should be able to figure yeah, it out themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Like and if you like, guys are I, a married couple and like <laughs> you can't figure out why you can't be in the same room. Well, I don't, that's not my problem. They sure. figure it out. Like stop calling, like yeah, yeah, yeah. go, go do something, go take yeah, a walk, yeah, yeah. Go, go do something. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and you're, yeah. and you're all the time, right? Like I, I should be fighting. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah. I could be a training. Like he's like, oh, I'm going to the gym. And yeah. he's, he's like, Oh, it, it was a really good set. We were at such and such this place. And yo, he came by, it was like really good round. Mm. And I'm like, and I got to deal with this dude who's, you know, yeah. upset because his girl took his dog yeah. and now he's out here creating a problem. Yeah, like that's just that's how it was. So how long after you got into it, like uh, got your first amateur fight? Did did you, Kyle? I think uh, we were supposed to fight on the same we night. To, we were supposed to fight on the same uh, night. Okay. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, I something think, happens with my opponent or yeah, something. He got hurt or I think he missed weight or something. something. I don't know the typical amateur stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I took a fight. I actually lost. I was actually I was, zero oh and two. I think I started. No, I'm sorry. I want to say I was like one in three in my first four fights. Um, wasn't the best, obviously. Uh, I started out again, like I said before, I was like two fifty. Yeah, but you're also mm -hmm. fighting I was, the wrong weight. I was class. fighting at the wrong yeah. weight class. Like yeah. that's all that it was. You were fighting the heavyweight. Yeah. When I first started, I think the heaviest I was was two sixty. Yeah, I cannot imagine. What are you now? One nine. Right now, I'm like two twelve, two fifteen. I walk Damn. around that, but I fight yeah. at one eighty five now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Exactly. I knew something had to change, obviously, from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't really like it wasn't like that I couldn't compete with the guys. Yeah. They would just lay on me and they were just that much stronger because they were heavyweights. Yeah. And I yeah. wasn't I wasn't that built in that frame or anything. Like that. Yeah. I was kind of just a fat kid. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you know, I stuck with it. I dieted down, started fighting 85. And then when I went to 85, I was undefeated. Yeah. So I was like, all right, well, I should probably just stay 85. That's and I turned pro and then kind of just took off from there. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 Did we talk about the... the what, what took you from jujitsu to... 
to fighting though? Was there like, a, did we talk about that? I no, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I always wanted to. I always wanted to fight. <laughs> that was your. That was your thing for. Yeah, and I remember him telling me, or and and coach, my coach Will telling me that mm -hmm. like, you have to train jujitsu in order to get better at fighting. And yeah, I was yeah. like, what is this dude talking about? Like, <laughs> that always perplexes about? me when like, in MMA that guys just completely disregard jujitsu when. Yeah. It's such. A, it's clearly such. A, it's mixed martial arts. Like you yeah. need to have a yeah. good. Uh, again, I'm not a, I'm a casual, but like you. Obvious. Like I just Obvious. see so many guys like there. like disregard and just only want to strike. I'm like, oh yeah. my, like you're clearly outmatched by, by all these other guys in your division because of the fact that they have jujitsu. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of guys like when I, I was younger, so I was like, I have to do jujitsu to get better at MMA. Yeah. Like. No, I just want to punch and kick people. Like I just want yeah. to fight. That's about it. Yeah. I didn't realize how much went into like jujitsu and wrestling and like uh, wall work, cage, cage wrestling, work, yeah. wall work, yeah. whatnot, and striking and trying to mix it all together. But, yeah. 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 Did you guys get on like fist fights <laughs> as kid, like like teenagers? I have like literally been in one altercation <laughs> my entire life outside of the gym, yeah. and I got into like a shoving contest with my buddy with this kid in the fifth grade. So it's like nothing too crazy. So nothing, what's that like? Nothing, nothing too wild. Or I would fight my. Like we literally had a next door neighbor. He was. We would literally share a yeah. side yard. Yeah. We would fight like every day. Yeah, they like would. literally like fist fight every day. Like we'd yeah. be playing hockey, and he'd be like, if Kyle was in goal, he'd be like, oh, you only let that in because he's your brother. And I'm like, nah, dude, you just. You know, it, like, let's you just, yeah, so, and, then was, and, then, and then we would literally just like fist fight, and then we'd like be friends like the next day. Yeah, 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 yeah that's that's just, I had, just I had kids in my neighborhood like that too. I was usually on the losing end of the fist fight. Yeah. <laughs> That's a uh, I was my, my one fight story. Chris Rysek, do you know, you know him? How do you know Rysek? Uh, Matt's Mayfair. Oh, ah, okay. But we're friends now. We played hockey together as adults. Mm -hmm. Like I, he was in my squad. Yeah, we're like great friends now. But our but we were always were friends. So our first my only fight was in like the fifth grade when yeah. we were fighting over the he um it was wear your Eagles jersey to school yeah. day. And I had the white numbers, and he had the, the green numbers. Yeah. And like we were arguing about who's was fake, <laughs> and like it ended in a fight. So I'm pretty sure he won. Yeah. But it was just like funny. Like that was like the only fighting experience yeah. I had. But again, another great Philly cop. Yeah. 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 That, that kid's insane. Yeah. <laughs> most insane. most of you guys are. Though. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to be a little bit insane. What um? So, what was it like? You know, you, there came to a point where you said, "All right, I'm going to leave the department." Yeah. Right. So what was what was that like? What was that? Uh, I was like, I was like up in the air because I was like, well, what? I was up in the air internally about it. Like, do I want to leave? Can I still make this work? Like, mm -hmm. as doing a full time thing? Like, do I try and get a position like inside the department where I'm not like on the street answering yep. thirty five radio calls every Friday and Saturday night? Like, mm -hmm. like some nights like you're just not stop going and. If you're, you get stuck on a scene, you do 12 hours, whatever it is. Yeah. So I was kind of like at a point where I'm like, am I going to do this and try and get like a cushy job or like it's an inside job and it's kind of mm -hmm. like a Monday through Friday thing or what am I doing here? So I contacted the pretty much like downtown. I wrote them a three page memo about, you know, what the UFC is, what fighting is, how this will be good for the department, how. All I wanted was them to just hold my position as a police officer. Mm -hmm. I didn't want any pay. I didn't want any health benefits. Yeah. I didn't want anything. I said, I just want you to hold my position as a police officer. Yeah. And they told me that I had to pick a, a pick a profession. So I said, okay, no problem. Yeah. So Did they really? Oh, yeah, really? That's a hundred percent how that happened. Yeah. I was like, I'll, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll literally give the gun, the badge, whatever. If yeah. you need me to check in weekly, if you need me to come do random drug testing, whatever you need me to do, yeah. just hold my position as a cop so that I can come back. I don't have to go through a whole another academy. Mm -hmm. If you want to dump my name some place in like a closet in Center City where you're like, oh yeah, he, he works in there. Whatever. Yeah. I, it yeah. didn't matter to me. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't asking for a paycheck. I'm not asking for any yeah. kind of health benefits. Just hold my spot. And they're like, I didn't, man, know, that, gotta, I didn't know that was the yeah, case. So you you, as of right now, you can't have no, you yeah. couldn't go back there. If you I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going back. Yeah, yeah. Burn the boats, dude. Yeah, I, yeah, I, feel boats. Like, I feel like, like partially, like the family always kind of wanted him to stop fighting. Yeah, I mean, really? not, sorry, not fighting. Stop being a cop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But I think like for him, he was doing so well fighting and being a cop. Yeah. Yeah. He also loved being a cop too. Yeah. So it's like, yep. I love being a cop, but I'm also doing well fighting and doing this as well. So like if I give one up, like. How's this gonna go? Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. They're both pretty dangerous. Plus, your tenure, yeah, yeah. your tenure, <laughs> your ten years in at that point, right? Into yeah, the, yeah. I was, right? I was right there. Yeah. So like, I was, that's, yeah. It's a piece of your identity, man. Yeah, and then like you know, going, getting into certain situations throughout the ten years is uh, 
when you got to make call your wife and yeah. she's yeah. not sure what kind of phone call you're yeah. going to be getting she's kind of happy that i was done with that you know after yeah. like i think it was the the second phone call the second or whatever phone call was mm-hmm. she's like yeah like i can't be make i can't be doing this anymore yeah. like the next one's not going to be this one you know what i mean so i'm like all right that eases my my decision a little bit better yeah so, so funny my this is another side story but my stepdad uh is also a cop Jay Bell, you, you know him but yeah. yeah. um he one night recently i was, we sat down like just like by the fire pit and i was like you know like tell me some stories from like back yeah. then and like i was like i can't believe back i was such an days, i was man. such an asshole like as like a high schooler like the grief i was causing this dude as he was like dealing with shit like that yeah. Yeah. i'm like oh my god dude yeah. like, it's I'm the you get, then you have to like i got good at compartmentalization because mm-hmm. of police form yeah and it's like mm-hmm. you have to see the worst of the worst but then you're like you have to go home and your family yeah. Like yeah. and like speak to your wife in like a normal yeah you know, normal fashion. If you have kids, you have to be like I, you have to be dad. I do think it's crazy. Like the, you guys literally drive into work and then cortisols and and it's like right or right away through the roof. Like yeah. you know what I mean. No matter like, you have to always be at on a high alert. Yeah, and um, stays there for the yeah. entire time. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure. For Kelly though, like I mean, you kind of made it easier on her, and yeah. then also like. I can't imagine watching modern day gladiators like go to war. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean yeah. she's you know so I mean, she, she kind of she got had to pick her poison. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget. There was I'm literally sitting out front of her house, and she grew up on Larue Street down here, and I'm literally sitting out front of her Not on too the far steps. From HQ, man. Yeah, I'm literally sitting there, and I'm like, I think I'm gonna be a cop, and she's like, okay, and then I was like, but I'm gonna fight too, and then she's like. I'll, whatever we'll figure it out and i'm like okay i guess we're gonna figure it out <laughs> let's, let's, go. Go. let's go yeah i was like we'll figure it out together and then mm-hmm. i guess she didn't realize or i didn't realize what kind of life that this was gonna yeah. turn into yeah. you know yeah i i pass um their old house every day on the way to martinez yeah and the uh, i don't know what school that is i forget the name of it nah, but I forget what school, yeah. across the street and we yeah. place we used to play halfies and yeah. Dude, everything heard, there man i actually just great. just was reminded that kelly's your cousin yeah like. yeah little known fact little known fact is yeah the little known fact we're all related well, my, we're all related <laughs> we're all related <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely my cousin too though <laughs> this is the bowens i mean it's just you know like any it's just yeah you know, they're big families they're, they're everywhere so. man you know if they throw a stone you hit somebody <laughs> Listen, you know. they are everywhere, man. Yep. They're everywhere. That's they cool. are everywhere. We, I always joke like we don't do like the second cousin. Yeah. They're because it's just like it would be impossible to like count all of them. Yeah. So it's just like everybody's cousin. Yeah. Everybody's, you know what I mean? We don't. I'll never we forget don't do the levels. How, how I think we got connected. I was yeah. buying stuff from here from yeah. you guys. Yeah. I mean, your mom. <laughs> yeah. Was like, what are you doing? Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what do you so, mean? She's like. Just talk to him. Yeah, I was like, just talk to him, Dude, so you I don't have no to like idea. wait like four months for his stuff. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I had no, I had no clue. Neither did I. I had no clue. You didn't know either. Yeah, I, was, I told Jen. So I remember a picture wild. popped up. Of course, my mom uh, would know you. because she was our number one customer for the first three years. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll just take it here. Just take it. Three years. <laughs> I remember a picture popped up. Uh, I think we reposted it or something. That was you and your son um, back in the day. That's the first one I saw, and I was like, wait a second, what's going on? You're wearing like a t-shirt. That's funny. Yeah. yeah, because even even then, even at that time, well, no, de- definitely at that time, like I was in a big family party goer. Yeah, you know, every once in a while, yeah. I'd, I'd come, but I kind of started fizzling off for me once yeah. I. Same. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not for any reason other than like, just time. Yeah, you don't. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just time. Yeah. You know. And that's I feel like you guys probably know too. Like you have to as you start to take things more seriously and like yeah. start to rise in your craft like and, and figure things out like if you want to get to the next level like, you have to start saying no like it's just yeah, yeah that's the family doesn't realize your stuff like yeah you show up holiday parties like oh you have a job yet yeah are oh, you still yeah you still doing that yeah, fucking that thing was, you still have a job his, yet dude. and i'm that like the family yeah uh, and the, i'm like man this is like six christmases in a row they're asking me the same stuff over and over again yeah and i was yeah. like all right i'm just I think i'm just gonna stop going now yeah there you go that's uh, my my best friend john he's still uh like just dream chase he's 33 like still like waiting for the big like he's having success but like waiting for like the big break and mm-hmm. like yeah. He goes. He tells me every family party he goes to. They're like, "Oh, you got a job yet?" Like, still doing that. He's like, still like doing "I, ha- that? Yeah, I have saying. a job. Like, yeah. I am supporting my. Like, I, Look, it's, it's, I support myself. Yeah, and they don't see that because it's different. And you know. Yeah. I really don't understand that about society where they think just going and working for someone else and collecting a salary makes it. But you're talking about a hundred years of that, though. Yeah. Like, it's so it's so deeply ingrained in us as humans, like the conditioning. Mm-hmm. 
like a hundred years of that, man, since the Industrial Revolution. Show up for work, punch your car, do your job, yeah, get dude, paid, yeah. come home, have a life. Respect to Kyle, though, you know for, I mean? like, literally, they like, never, like, I... Never I, conforming. I, was, I yeah, conformed for a little, like, like... I'm not doing it. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, I just didn't want to. And, my, and like, you know, have, having the mom that was there with, with us, like, is, is a blessing because when she really, like, told me, she was like, if you're going to go for this, like... I'll help you out. I'll support you as much as I can. But if you're going to go for this, you have to go for it. You have to go all and in. And I was like, yeah. all right, all I'll in. do it. Yeah. 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 My parents weren't like that. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 I, I will say, like, for me, like, this, obviously, I'm speaking from, like, the entrepreneurial journey side of things. Like, the Bowens were always super supportive. Mm. Yeah. Like, I never got that. Like, I never got the, like, oh, well, you know, why don't you just calm down and don't take risks? Like, yeah. we got the opposite. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? My dad was like, he was always like, know what you're getting into yeah. but go do it yeah. you know what i mean like stop and think mm. about what you're doing yeah. but then go do it yeah. you know what i mean so i always had a lot of support like what it came down to for me was like honestly man i was just drained like the game drained so much for me and like bowing parties are like everybody's cutting on each other yeah. like everybody's interacting yeah. like there's so much like yeah. and it's a beautiful thing but like i was just my batteries were low yeah. like i couldn't be around it yeah. asking uh, answering questions about like how business was and yeah. how it's just it was just too much. I talked to Kenny about that, Kenny Santucci, yeah. about the he asked how business goes was going, and I was like, "It's going great, dude. We're thriving." Bro, I, I was, I, he said, "I always hate when people ask me that question. It's like, well, do, do, it sucks, dude. Like, yeah. do, like yeah. business sucks. Yeah. Do, do you want to like do the want real the, answer? Do you want the real answer? It's, yeah. it's yeah. fucking yeah. horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I can't figure words, this out. Kenny's exact words like, do we open up the books for you so you can take a look and see how it's He's he's fucking crazy. Yeah, he's great. Um, I I had that I had that moment uh, just over the weekend. We were a little family thing for uh, Everly's birthday, and someone was there that I hadn't seen in a while, and they're genuinely like supportive, yeah. like what we're doing, mm. and curious, like how things are going. Yeah. Like, tell me like all about it. Like, what's new? And I'm just like, everything's good. Like, yeah. you, you know what I mean? Have, yeah, and it is. Like, yeah. But it's also like you know, the most stressful it's a thing fucking ever. battle. No, yeah, yeah, it's you know the most what I mean? And like, on a on a <laughs> Sunday afternoon, I want to have like my chicken and my non-alcoholic beer and just like kind of chill. Chill out, <laughs> yeah. relax, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you, and this is back to what we were just talking about, like, do you think you had made more gains living that life and whereas Chris was work at a job, like, are you committing full-time to fighting? Uh, I, I'll, I, I think you did. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. like, I would yeah. say so. And then, like, yeah. you were coming back to practice and Kyle was beating your ass. Was, like, <laughs> <laughs> there was times when, like, he, like, would have, like, <clears throat> two days for, like, six yeah. months straight. Yeah. He's like, in the morning and the night, and I'd only make night classes, or if Damn. I'm making day classes mm -hmm. because we work two and two. So, but two he would never. But he, but he's not, he would never take a day off. Like he would yeah. always yeah. come in, whether he's in in the morning or at night, yeah. he's there working. Yeah. So. yeah, it was never like a I need a rest day. And like even like yeah. talk to Kel about it. Like mm -hmm. I would be like, I'd go to work. Like if I was day work, I'd have to be in six thirty. So six thirty to two thirty, mm -hmm. and then I'd go lift at my strength and conditioning place. At like after your shift after my shift at 4 30 yep. and then i'd be there 4 30 to 5 30 and then i'd have to drive back over here yep. for the seven to nine class whatever that and then, mm. and mm -hmm. then that's just what it was all yeah. while being at that and husband. all white yeah. yeah yeah all while doing that and that's what like i don't know if like yeah. people don't know that like yeah she's like awesome for sticking with me because i don't know a lot yeah. of people who would do that it's just, yeah it's the truth it's the truth I, there's you know we're not getting kicked in the head you know yeah. what I mean in the entrepreneurship game but there yeah. are a lot of parallels between metaphorically we are yeah well yeah well that's what I'm saying Meta <laughs> metaphorically yeah metaphorically getting kicked in the nuts it's more like a nut kick yeah. I think than it is a head kick but um there's a lot of parallels between like you know our relationships in the entrepreneur game yeah. and you know yours in the fight game like, yeah you know what I mean it takes a special person to be in it and yeah. it also takes a special person to ride with somebody and support them while they're in it yeah you know I mean? yeah I know I think that's what like a lot of people don't really want to like uh my boyfriend's a fighter. I think that's super cool. But like, when it comes down to it, it's, is it cool? Like that you yeah. see him for two hours a day, mm -hmm. yeah. and like when you see him, like he's super fucking grouchy and like yeah. everything hurts, or yep. you know he's not sleeping, or Bad, if it's like fight gas week, empty, or yeah, yep. if it's like Depleted. fight week and he's like not eating or like not yep. drinking, and like he's miserable, but yep. like you say something and then it sets him off because yeah. he's yeah, you know. He's yep. only eating 60 carbs, 60 grams there. of carbs yeah, this yeah. week. Like, oh, exactly. Yeah, this week. It, it, it brings so. out, like, you know, everything that's inside of you, like, probably, like, the, the most reactive, animalistic parts of you in, mm -hmm. in, the, in a bad way, yeah. you know, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, you know what absolutely. I mean? And entrepreneurship does the same thing. I mean, I oh, can yeah. count on, uh, I would need 
50 arms to count it's, on my fingers how many times like the stress causes me to snap or, yeah. or something like that you know what i mean it's like that's why i always say me and sean hit it off um sean brady hit it off so like immediately at the wedding we met at because it's like we're on the same like same journey same hunt dip, mm -hmm. like, or, or different hunts the same mindset mm -hmm. right like yeah. like we're dream chasing like I, I, that's why i kind of like loop all of these people in together like entrepreneurs fighters mm -hmm. athletes like we're all chasing a dream yeah. Yeah. and and going against the grain of society that tells us we have to do what they say is yeah. right yeah 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 for me i mean the linchpin or the the commonality or the common threads always been like the mind fight first mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. that's yeah. that's what it's always been like fighting the mind first yeah. i think we all have that in common fighters entrepreneurs athletes you know winning the battle with yourself first mm. Um, before you can win the battle with anybody else. I agree. You know, Kyle's yeah. always on that tip I, in his stories. I always want to D, like DM him, but he doesn't allow DMs. So I'm like, I, thought to a I think I'm his top. I think, he just, I think he just doesn't allow DMs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, just, like, I can nah, do nah, nah, I turned it off. People, <laughs> too many people react to your stories. It's just yeah, like, I got to turn this off. Yeah, I'm like the top like, liker of his stories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys are, are Grover fans, right? Tim Grover. Yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah, big yeah. Tim Grover fans. So, uh, He's in our he's he's in our in our network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have him. We're gonna have him on yeah, the show. Oh yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll have cool. him on the show. We're gonna put really that out cool. there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Well, and then my next question is like from the the amateur days, right? Like from you, you you did a couple amateur promotions. Yeah. So there was like locked in the cage, uh, XFE. Yeah. The other ones were there. Uh, I did I did a CFFC amateur one. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah. So I mean, back when we, when we were fighting, like when we first started, yeah, uh, there was kind of minimal uh, pro cards around that would happen, like fights that would happen. Like, yeah. like fights would happen once every like I don't know six months. Yeah, and uh, then there would be you know three amateur fights and then six or seven pro fights. Pro fights yeah. So it was hard to get a fight when you're an amateur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But and if you were a pro fighting at the time, mm -hmm. you'd only fight twice a year. Yeah. So now it's like completely That's different. Yeah. It's fights every weekend now. Yeah. So at what point from that amateur journey to the pro journey for you guys, was it like, okay, like we got something here. Like we could actually make like pro and then UFC. I mean, for me, like when I hit 85, I was like, all right, like I'm doing good. But when I hit pro, like I know it's a completely different level. Yeah. But I always knew and everybody at the gym always told me that I would be a better professional than I was an amateur. Because I felt like in the amateur, fighting in Pennsylvania as an amateur, yeah. it's more of just like a, like a grappling match with boxing. Like you can't, yeah. like you can't use your whole, whole uh, skill you know, set. Skill yeah, set. Yeah, so. um, there's no ground and pound on the ground. You can't punch them in the face, True. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I always felt like I didn't think of that. myself personally as a professional, I would have been a lot better. And I, and I am, obviously, yeah. than I was an amateur. I was a five and five amateur. And I'm yeah. 15 and four now as a pro. So it's, 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 it's always you know, good to, to, to see that and, and grow up from that. But <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I, I figured I was going with that, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I knew, for, I'm sorry. Yeah. I knew yeah. from the very beginning, like as a professional, if I can get three or four wins that maybe something can take off with this. Yeah. yeah. I think I finished off. I, I had, I had finishers for like my first six, six fights, I think six, seven mm -hmm. fights. Mm -hmm. And then I fought CFFC. I won the CFFC belt and I was mm -hmm. like, all right, like, I'm getting closer and closer to my goal of being being in the UFC. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the manager, the management that we had had uh, a couple of UFC fighters at the time, so it was a good in for us. Mm -hmm. um, I fought Webb for the CFFC belt. Uh -huh. I won that, and then after that fight, I got called to the Contender Series, and I was like, "All right, like this is my time to shine. Mm -hmm. Like I need, I need it. I need this." I beat the guy 30-25, 30-25 across the board. Didn't get a contract. And I was like, "Damn." Did Dana say anything to you? So I saw him in the back, and he was like, just keep fighting, stay busy, we'll call you. I was like, okay. all right. I fought two more times, and then I got the call up on a short notice after that. Uh, that's gotcha. cool. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. It well. seems like um, like one one common one common thing is just you have this goal, you have this vision, both mm -hmm. of you, but focusing on the work, yeah. just day in and day out. Like yeah. focusing on your output, not what the outcome of that output will be yeah yeah i mean at, at that point it's like you're doing everything that you can yep. do to ensure that you're going to get to wherever you're going to go yeah mm -hmm. like you would making practices you're eating mm -hmm. right you're lifting right whatever you're doing you're ensuring that you're doing everything possible and you just have to wait for 
Yeah. Just wait for it. Yeah, yeah. wait for the call. Yeah, yeah wait that's for it. it. Are there guys in the room that like have or that have been in the room that have that goal that you're like, yeah, like you're probably you might not really like this isn't might that be for you? Uh, like it's like doesn't have what it takes. Honestly, yeah. There's 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 guys yeah. there's guys that that we've trained with who are like, yeah, dude, I want to do this. I want to get to where you've been. Yeah, and, and you're like, just like I'm like, yeah, probably yeah. Not. You're th- like like you're 30 years old, dude. Yeah, like, I, yeah. I think it's a little too late. Too yeah. little too late. But yeah. then you guys got you got guys like Pat Brady who yeah. are that's crazy. Yeah, you know, at the top of their game right now. Yeah, at what 40 years old? Like, is he 40? Yeah, he's yeah. 40. Yeah, he's yeah. 40. And it's crazy. Old head. It's fucking yeah. old head. Specimen yeah. too. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, but it's, yeah. it's nuts. Like, like Pat, Pat gets his ass beat in the gym all the time. Uh-huh. But when he goes out there and fights, he performs. And I think that's kind of mm-hmm. your most important thing is making sure you can go out there and perform. That is yeah. always the craziest thing to me about the UFC and fighting is like, like Tom Brady could lose hundreds of th- like he's lost so many games yeah. and then yeah, it's, but it's still regarded the best quarterback to ever live potentially like yeah. but for you guys you guys don't get multiple like, you have to perform every every time yeah, yeah. or or you're you're yeah. or you're gone yeah, 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 yeah. you don't have a job yeah, yeah pretty much I, I think that's like so yeah. crazy to me it's like who knows how good some of these guys really are because they got pushed aside when they lost a couple of fights like yeah, I just yeah, think it's yeah. like wild yeah yeah yeah. Because you can't even have a record like that. Like Tom Brady's overall record is probably like uh, whatever, like close to five hundred maybe, or like yeah. over five, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But yeah. in, in the in the UFC, like in fighting UFC, out, like you can't can't have that. Yeah, you go out there and see a five hundred fighter, you're like, dude, yeah. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. is not good at all. Exactly. But he could be he could be really decent. Yeah. But he's just lost a bunch. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But absolutely. Like, there's guys around here. There's guys around fighting, mm. um, specifically that we train with, who kind of had those records. And in the gym, you think they're world champions. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, there's guys like, that you train guys with. Guys that we train the with, they beat yeah. like every single person. Yeah. Like decisively to training. Yeah. But as soon as the lights get on them, yeah, for whatever they reason. Well, that's, uh, I mean, that's a, that's the thing, right? Like the training translates, but then there's also yeah. more variables once you get yeah. there. I can yep. imagine. I, yeah. I don't I can't I can only imagine. Yeah. I can't speak. The only thing I can relate to is high school wrestling and like when it's all like you train all, all week and then you get to that to that mat on Wednesday night and it's like the light they got the spotlight shining mm-hmm. down it's like there's people in the stands and there's mm-hmm. you versus one other person like that's a drum like, I couldn't even explain the yeah. the feel I can't imagine what it's like in the UFC cage but like yeah. you know what I mean like that's like that that adrenaline and like different mm-hmm. kind of nerves that like you just like, have never experienced like yeah. Yeah. and you yeah. can't even explain to someone yeah. no it's, it's, it's yeah it's yeah. hard to explain yeah it's but, certainly hard to like once you do it yeah you're you're addicted. Addicted. yeah you yeah. can't get you yeah yeah, <clears throat> but then there's guys that are like those guys that are addicted to just that feeling. Yeah, and there's guys that are addicted to like being the best and winning. Mm-hmm. And like that's where you can. That's where I feel like like some of us differentiate to guys that are just chasing that high of getting in the cage and fighting. Yeah, yeah. and then you know a guy like me who's I don't I don't really chase the high of of fighting and getting in there. Yeah. I know I have to fight. Yeah, it's re- like yeah. I have to get in there and fight regardless. Mm-hmm. But it's all about winning. And making sure that I can progress, you know, my family's life and my life mm-hmm. to be better. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Loading up. I thought you had another question. No, no, no. No. So during, so you're both, uh, your pros, both of you, when you start your families. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I just All had right. a, I just my son is. Yeah. Well, obviously, you know, months, yeah. trying to do the math for. Yeah. Yes, I like. Yeah, he was he was professional yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. 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 So we talked a little bit about relationships and the people that are around you, those that support you, those that ask questions and maybe you don't want to answer all that other stuff. Yeah. What's it like being fathers in the fight game? You can go first. Uh, my son's younger. So. Yeah. So uh, it's it's great. It's yeah. it's stressful. It but it's. Let me preface this. Yeah. The the expectation of winning or the the motivation, you shouldn't have any outside motivation if you're gonna do this. Like you should already have that drive to just I wanna fight people, yeah. I wanna win, I wanna be the best that I can absolutely be. Yeah. If there's if you're only gonna have that motivation because somebody new came into your life, you shouldn't be here. Yeah. Like you're like I want to be the best, and you should have that internal motivation. Yep. Now, granted, you, my, when I held it, my son, I'm it like, adds to it. it certainly adds but to it. it. Still, it certainly adds to it, and I, I still do everything I do in life is for my kids and my wife. Mm-hmm. But I wanted 
I started fighting because I got that itch to fight, and then I just I want to be the best at something. And yep. everyone wants to be the best at something, and that's you have to have that inner motivation to do that. Yeah. So I that's mean, an, that's an important point because I think sometimes it gets glorified, like, hey, when I'm fighting to change my family's life, or I'm and, fighting to give my yeah. Which there's truth to that. Correct. Mm-hmm. But the people that actually. But deep down, you are fighting for you, and you, yeah. you're mm-hmm. fighting. You have to have yeah. that motivation. Like my son was born two weeks. Three weeks before I fought uh, Zoo for the CFFC t- uh, f- uh, title, and I knew that that was going to be like yeah. a thing, and that gave me a little extra motivation for the fight. But I was already motivated to yeah. to, to you go were further. Go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. like you were you, go you, it, wasn't, it can't be like I need to make this work yeah. or, or for my fat, like for yeah. like everything rides on this. It's like I need to you, you need to already want to go in there and fucking yeah. compete and win. Yeah, yeah, like not to like sound like more, but like if like my family didn't exist, I'd still probably be doing yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I'd, I'd still be doing this. Like, yeah, it's that's just how I am. It's yeah. made me think. Ryan Holiday talked about this thing recently. He said, um, "He's like, I don't have goals. He's like, I just wake up and I put my best and I do my best and I want and I want to be the best. Yeah, and, and, and that's what I do. Uh, he's like, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't set goals anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought it was interesting. It's like you don't have a goal of being like the world champion or or a, a specific goal. It's like I'm just gonna wake up and be the best. Yeah, yeah that's. I mean. Yeah. That's a goal. That's what you. That's what you try to do. You're, you're trying to get better. Like, yeah. if Kyle always hits me with like a single leg to, to body lock to, to dump, I have to. I have to be better so that he gets better. And I to, I'm going to be better. I have to stop that chain wrestling at one point. Now, mm-hmm. granted, it's, I'm still 15 years later. I'm still working on it. But I was going to say, did you just give away Kyle's? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do we have to cut that? Out? Yeah, cut that out. Yeah. But no. But that's that. Yeah. You have to find that that little whatever you're going to do. Yeah. You know. Yeah. One. Uh, my son's 10 months now. Um, so I'm still kind of new to it, yeah. but I fought, I have fought, uh, fought twice? twice, yeah, twice since he's been born yeah. and people have always said, you know, when you have a son or when you have a kid, it's going to change your, mm-hmm. your motivation is going to change in the fight game. Like okay. people think like, like people were telling me I was going to go soft. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I've, I'm, I'm the best that I've ever been right now. Yeah, it's really, um, yeah. but you know, as far as having having a son and like it's for me it's just somebody that can like look up to me mm-hmm. like it's somebody that's uh sees me like obviously i see him every day i take yeah. care of him every day yeah. and, and my buddies he's like my best he's like my best friend pretty much even though he doesn't speak <laughs> but yeah I, I even told yeah. my i even texted my wife um before not my last fight the, the fight before my first defense being back um mm-hmm. i was taking care of him all day and i was like this dude could care less if i went and lose tonight like yeah. he could, he really could care less if I want to lose. Just as long as I come home and I'm good and I and I see him, yeah. I'm sure he's gonna be happy. Yeah. And at that, when I, when I texted her that, I like all anxiety of the fight and everything like that went out the door. Yeah. yeah. And I was fine. Yeah. yeah. And it's, Damn, I think it just that was amazing. Yeah. I think it just adds that. Thanks. It just adds a little extra. I mean, not like extra motivation or anything like that, but yeah. like at the age that he's at right now. I mean, it's different because his son's older. Yeah, I have a five um, and a two year old. Yeah. So, yep. I feel like for me, it's more kind of like relaxing and relieving that I'm fighting when he's young right now, mm-hmm. yeah. because he's not gonna like. I, I don't want my kids to come to the fight anyway. Yeah. yeah. But he's not gonna see that and like be mm-hmm. talked about it to, to kids at school yet or anything mm-hmm. like that. I'm gonna yeah. be like, yeah, even like, yeah. even then, just watching your dad be on the losing end of something is like it's like just tough. Yeah, like it's cool yeah. to see your dad on TV, but like if he's if 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 the winning or losing shows up and the kids, you know, kids are kids are terrible these days. Kids are kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. I mean plus you're taking you're taking damage either way. Yeah. You yeah. know, in most instances and that's, that's tough what, for them to see too. It's yeah. like just like even like having you guys as friends, like Parker my son I sent you the one thing when uh, you had your one uh, loss in the UFC where you got like uh, I think it was a, a knee to the yeah the like Parker was like literally like crying yeah I, he was crying he was crying like, literally yeah. I sent him a picture I'm like dude my son is like literally like and he, yeah. he doesn't even know God like yeah. you know what I mean like it's, he just knows that's kids like are, kids are pure man they get yeah. it you know and they yeah. haven't had the yeah. couple of decades of the world like you know fucking shitting on them, yeah. shitting on yeah. them or yeah. you know callousing them in a bad way yeah you know what yeah. I mean they're, they're pure they get it. 
And my, yeah. my kid might be soft, too. So that's <laughs> like, but like, Bring him over and let <laughs> Everly and Cecilia yeah, go. Seriously, he's the same. I mean, he's trained, though. These, they're just like street fighters. Right, Everly right. and Cecilia are just street fighters, dude. They're just <laughs> scrappers. It's fox chase, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fox chase. Yeah, dangerous yeah, streets of fox dude, chase, dude. They're, they're, they're getting those basement rounds in there. Yeah. 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 We do. We have puzzle mats in the basement. They take it to they take it to the couch, though, dude. And they're starting to do stuff where they're like, you know. Jumping off the couch? Yes. They're starting it's to do turning that. Turning WWE I'm like, now. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, what yeah. is going on? <laughs> yeah. You know? I'm I'm that I that told the Joey on the phone, I'm grateful I only have one child. Yeah. Uh, Cecilia had, she was eating fruit. I don't know what fruit she was eating. She had a fork. So they start wrestling on the couch with you're the like, fork. Time, now I'm like, you're like, now time, it's turning like ECW. Where there's going to be like, like blood. Give me the fork. ECW. Go back at it. You know, go back at it. You're going to get a folding chair. It's uh, wild. That's funny. There, there was siblings, like, there were uh, siblings on the mat at Movement there. So I went to Parker to his class. Yeah. And they were partnered up together. It was just funny watching. Like the the younger one always ended up crying. Like yeah. they were like yeah. they were just like beating this. Cecilia, Cecilia fights dirty. She'll like she'll start with like the hair pull. She'll do like a little hair oh, pull. Oh, like yeah. if Everly's like laying on tires. So no, you have another one. Do you plan on have anymore? As of right now, no. It, dude, one um, is easy, bro. But I'm sure. I'm sure, like, when he gets older, we might. Yeah. But as of right now, we, we're both agreed that we're just going to stick with one. Dude, I'm telling you, and you're like, out. it'll be yeah. very no. No. If you can. Yeah, I mean, we're spaced. <laughs> like, get like a dollar as, as soon as like, possible. Ideally, <laughs> ideally I, I, when we first, like, were talking about it, I was like, I would like five. I, I think I want five kids. Five is my number, bro. And she was like, yeah. and then she was like, okay, well, let's start with one first. And I said, okay, cool. We're at <laughs> one, and I'm like, one's not too bad. Kyle, <laughs> that's exactly what I said. Like, we just everyone more, 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 I tell everyone, like, you don't know how many kids you want until you have one. Then you can yeah. tell me how many kids you are. I have one. Immediately went. To, I said, "Kel, when yeah. we doing this? Yeah. When <laughs> we doing that?" But I your, still, I still go go. I'm like, "When? When we doing What was your what number beforehand, though? Five. Yeah. Five. Are you still committed? Um, to that I have number? two. Yeah, he's committed to five. So she told committed. me I gotta have a million dollars in the bank. Uh, I get another one. Okay. So right. I'm working on a million. <laughs> you, and then, but uh, you're still game for five. I'll do five. I feel like there's different people that like five five, 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 five. number, man. I'll do five. five like, my, number. my son is also my best friend, but like there are times where I'm like, yeah, like my house is super chill at night. Like there's yeah. like, nothing. He's got going a nice on. bedtime. I don't gotta worry about like putting other kids to sleep. Yeah, or worry about bro. Whatever, everybody else is doing. Everyone man. goes to bed at the same time. Everybody get upstairs. Let's yeah. go. Let's yeah. go. That's upstairs. Me and Amanda go. That's what I do. Yeah. We go to the baseball games. We put our chairs together. We just none of us have to run around with another kid or go park another kid to something else. Like I mean, I'm sure we'll have another one because I really like. I mean, for my like feeling of it, I don't want him to be by himself. I yeah. grew up with a sibling, so it's yep. it's different. But then again, I'm fine with one. Yeah, yeah. That is my one thing too. Like, we'll never have like a big table at Thanksgiving. Like, I mean, yeah. I'm my sister. Like, is our runs like the show here? Like, yeah. yeah, She is what the glue that like holds us together. So I mean, it's to think that he won't have something like that does kind of make me feel so. Yeah. And my dad, my dad has five brothers yeah. and sisters and christmas there yep. was always and insane. all holidays yeah. everything was huge because yeah. we had a bunch of family same. everybody there yeah. and i always loved that and that was kind of something like growing up something i always wanted yeah same but yeah, that was a one of 12 right seven jeez so kershaw's one of seven, five sorry. uh five five i think so, five yeah. yeah um one of seven on the bow inside that's the one thing like five was my number mm. i was like we're doing this yeah but uh well, I'm out of the game. I'm retired. Uh, I'm out of the game. I'm retired. So two's the two's the limit. But it wasn't um, the one thing. Like it wasn't as easy for us to have children as I thought. Yeah. yeah. And no, I mean, it's... we're two like you know perfectly healthy individuals. But yeah. like you, I think growing up, you you or at least I did. You have the assumption it's like oh yeah people just get married and they start families and it's just like yeah. it just happens. It just happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like you know magic. But um, yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't as easy for us. Yeah, same. It took yeah. us. I think it took us like two and a half years yeah. mm -hmm. to have one. Yeah. So, I, so that, and that's another thing on her mind. She's like, oh, well, if it doesn't work out again, then whatnot. And I'm like, oh, yeah. it's true. So yeah. we got one. We're happy with one, blessed with one, but. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that, that, um, that wears on you. Yeah. yeah and it, it wears on you in a, in a major way. That's a whole different show. Yeah, so I don't have to yeah. get into that, but. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, in, I'm out of game. I'm some, of in, some of us in shoes. What's that? Some of us in shoes. So. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say are, that. Some of the like, you know, happens. there's people out there. Some of us were 24 and had to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> figure it out. Yeah. It's like here you go. Yeah, figure it out. Figure it's like, it out. Right. Still living there with their parents. And, yeah. yeah. It's like we got this. Yeah. yeah. I um I distinctly remember like bringing Everly home from the hospital and we didn't have like. A, there was no, I don't know, what's it called? Uh, I don't even know. Where the nurses take the baby overnight. 
So you don't have oh, a baby. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff yeah, was, yeah. like, done with that. So, yeah. like, when we had Everly, it was just basically, like, here you go. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, what do I do? What, in the hospital? Same thing. In the hospital. They yeah. gave you the baby overnight? Yeah, bro. Uh, no, bro, I didn't, and Everly had feeding issues, so she wasn't eating. Okay. So we went, like, like almost, like, dude, it was a dangerous amount of time yeah. that she wasn't eating. And uh, they were just, like, letting us figure it out. They thought it was us, like, not, not figuring like it out. Right. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But here she had, like, a tongue tie. She had real bad uh, ass The reflux, lack of so. training that comes with... <laughs> Kids dude, zero with, training. With it's like, like it out, yeah, dude. literally, it's the figure craziest it thing ever. It's crazy. But I, rem I, I remember um, bringing Everly home after you know we were in the hospital for a couple of days longer than we should have been. Yeah. Bringing her home and putting her down on the living room floor in her car seat and just being like, okay, like what now? Let's go what to now? Same but, thing with Kel. Yeah, but, I was like, what? What are we doing? But I had like I was older. I at least had some life experience. Yeah. Like mm. I was. I had a like structure. I had a career. Yeah. Like, yeah. I could like figure it figure out. it out. Yeah, I had tools. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And because I was, I didn't we, have kids, so I was in my thirties. Yeah. For you, it was a different story. Our first night living together was the first night home from exactly. the hospital. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. We literally figure like, it out. Yeah. you're a wild man. You're a wild man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you're not my man. choice, dude. I was not my choice. <laughs> not my choice. Luckily, <laughs> a man is the best person ever on the face of the earth, but. Um, <laughs> No, like choice. literally, we just uh, like I, I say it too. Like you don't know who you're marrying until it's it's three a.m. and you got work the next day. Yeah, and the kids and the baby screaming. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's how you know who you're married to. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I I can see that shit breaking marriage is easily. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Like, there's nights when I intentionally fall stay asleep. <laughs> yeah. so she can get the baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, like there's I, a funny joke where if I if once I fall asleep, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing the, is, is like. I may hear and I just like that. And I was like, yeah, I, like, monitor, like, and I'm like, I hear him on I'm the like, monitor. Yeah, I'm like, is she moving yet? Yeah. I'm like, what time is it? Yeah, right, it's 3 30. She's got to be up in an hour and a half for work. Let's see if she just gets up early and goes to work. This yeah, is why, this so why stereotypes yeah. about men and women exist. Right? <laughs> we all do the same yeah, shit. That's man. where the play is you're on the side that they're not facing. You yeah, you're facing opposite way. You can't fake sleep facing them. They don't know. <laughs> You got like a strategy. I man. did. You got I a did. <laughs> Some like she just gets fed up with my shit. Just hits me. She just, yeah. Well, they get <laughs> they get maternity leave, dude. They get it easy. Oh, yeah, they get like eight weeks, dude. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, yeah, six apparently, months, apparently so paternity leave. Right? They're big thing now too. So. Yeah, my buddy's my buddy's on it now too. Wow. Yeah, he's a nurse uh, in Florida. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I think he gets just as much time as she got. Yeah. She gets. Yeah. Yeah. I got two days. Wow. Yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't the best with that. Yeah. I just work from home, so. Yeah, I wasn't the best with that. Making it is up crazy. For, they making should. Up for those mistakes now. We should yeah. get like I mean, from a like obviously entrepreneurs like at, like if, if you're not going to work, you guys aren't yeah. progressing towards your yeah. But I feel like people that are in those jobs like really should get paternity leave. Like like mm -hmm. yeah, like especially yeah. like if like it's not like natural or like your wife has like a C-section like that's yeah, major yeah. that's yeah. major surgery. surgery. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. she can't like pick herself up off the couch or like yeah. hand, hold yeah. the baby and like exactly. walk around like so there's needs to be like yeah. a little something yeah yeah you know yeah i agree so uh are your kids going to train yes i definitely my daughter she's she's a wild ass she she fights all the time oh, anyway yes. so she's like she's yeah she's insane like yeah. she yells in your face for like no reason <laughs> or like hits like her brother for like no reason and you're like what are you doing she's she's warming like, up fight i fight and i'm like let, fight. yeah let's not let's not do that right now but like my son's like super cool he like he wants to train he's he's in the lifting yeah. like like lifting down his house or whatever and then mm -hmm. like he's like can we work out so i got like I've, i have like small little kettlebells in the basement or like little like two pound weights i'm like all right let's go and then he like jumps up on the steps he does like his jumps he's like awesome. kettlebell walks yeah, like amazing. like little simple stuff like yeah so yeah. they're definitely going to be active and but yeah my daughter i think is going to be the one who's yeah. do you want the, the will you get them in jiu-jitsu as, as soon as possible you think or uh yeah i mean my son's like you were saying he's a little uh he's at the age he's at the yeah, age we can start he's, he's right yeah. at the age he's he's uh <clears throat> well it sounds like he's conditioning already yeah i mean he's <laughs> He's got the kettlebells. He, he likes working out, so yeah. like he likes, and it's like quality time, like yeah. spending, and that's what he wants. He like yeah. he wants to get like of hang out, of like, course, you know. Yeah. So of course. yeah, it'll definitely be good. Uh, yeah, I think he's he's right around that age where I think it's it's time to get him into it. So, yeah. but he's been he's been in the gym and like watching, so yeah, like, he knows yeah, what he's, he's getting in, into. Yeah, he's he's, he's yeah. there. He he's, it's not watches. like he doesn't like, you know, doesn't know what the gym is. Like yeah. Kale, like. Another guy we train with, he brings his sons and they, they like mm -hmm. wrestle like after sparring or whatever. Like That's they're like cool. good yeah. single legs, you know. They're doing all yeah. that. Like oh, Kale's nice. kids are both 
doing lacrosse and they're both wrestle so like it's yeah. all good for them oh, okay. i had dreams of making my son a, like a state champion wrestler just put him but, on a program well, just figure out a program I, and just be like this is what we're doing he's been I mean, we trained we've trained together since he was two three years old yeah. and he's like every day we work out together and he's still um like he, so he didn't love wrestling he got the wrestling bug mm -hmm. like he just like he, he he did it because I wanted him to do it, yeah. but um he didn't like he wasn't like let's go to wrestling. I excited to go to wrestling practice ever. He just always just did it because I asked him to. Yeah. And I uh, I was started seeing videos online of, like kids get like beat up in school and stuff like just like mm -hmm. the shit that people are like doing nowadays. Yeah. And I was like I just like never want Parker to experience that. So I was like you yeah. know what Parker like like I want you to come try jiu jitsu. Like I was already trained jiu jitsu and I was mm -hmm. like I want you to come try this mm -hmm. like just to sit and I'll, if you do this like then we can maybe like switch from wrestling. And uh, he just like loved jujitsu. I feel yeah. like because yeah. it it combines that combat sport with more of like a chess or a game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's ways to figure out how to win other than just being the more aggressive person. Yeah. Like typically in wrestling, the more athletic and and aggressive person yeah. will win, mm -hmm. uh, it, barring they have the same amount of skill. Correct. But we could have the same amount of skill, and I could catch you in something. Correct. And like there's a, there's more of a game or a chess to be played. So uh, mm -hmm. he really does love uh, uh, training jujitsu. So like, yeah. we haven't really wrestled since, but yeah. I mean, my dreams. I'm I'm playing. I say I'm playing the long game with wrestling. Like if I just keep in jujitsu and grappling for this long, transfer. Yeah. You might be able to hit that wrestling. Yeah, yeah. freshman yeah. year, you might you might be feel differently. Yeah. yeah, the girls. I'll bring the girls in when they have uh, when they're off of school or whatever. I'll bring yeah. them in. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I will say that the wrestling at home and yeah. the what they call jujitsu at home has definitely like accelerated since they've been in watching. That could be yeah. the you know reason I mean? like, well, like the kids that love the wrestling in the wrestling room at this age are like the kids with brothers that would like yeah. beat yeah. each other. Like they're yeah. fucking aggressive. You know what I mean? Like yeah. parties yeah. at home chilling all the time. Like I, I rough them up, but like I'm, it's not, the, the dad right. rough up and yeah. the brotherly rough up are two different oh, things. They're a hundred percent different yeah. things. But I, I, I bully his kid around. I bully, yeah. I bully yeah. my nephew yeah. around yeah. a little bit, so maybe he's, yeah. maybe he's, he'll be all right. He's just for that. That's the wrestling. That's true too. The, and the uncle rough up is different than the yeah. father. Yeah. Dude, the yeah. uncle yeah. rough yeah. up, yeah. man. I was. He beat yeah. me up when I was little, so I was yeah. 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 trying to favor another kid. We're turning it. Exactly. We're gonna save this. Yeah, we have a teammate, Christian. He brings his two kids in, and what's Achilles? Achilles. Maybe two, I That's guess. That's a sick name. Uh, I think he's I have no yeah, idea. two or three. Yeah. And then yeah, Ember right. is is brand new. Maybe yeah, one, one or whatever. Yeah. One, yeah. But that he sets up like a little octagon at the gym yeah, and he yeah. puts him in there while <laughs> yeah. we train. Yeah. And they're starting to like, like wrestle each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like they're not playing with like their dinosaurs and like stuff anymore. They're like actively looking. They're like watching the class. Yeah, they're like watching, watching the class. And then like, applying. Yeah, they're Achilles like, had like, Achilles yeah. had Ember in like half guard one day. I swear. <laughs> I swear. Wow. You gotta have a stop like fast. You gotta have a stop fast one day, like one of them's choking out the other one. Yeah, like hold on. You're coming out here. Yeah, he walks around like he owns the joint too. Yeah. Can we see yeah. he walks around? I will. That, those things are sick. I feel like the downside of having kids young mm. is it's like I, I didn't think of like I wasn't as comfortable myself where I would, would name my kid Achilles. You know what I, mean? like, <laughs> yeah. I saw it growing into name. like yeah, like my, my Parker's one friend is Odin and Apollo. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, true. That's, that's fucking. Cool. That's when, you, I, when you talk to Christian next or whatever, um, he's done. He's actually done some. Uh, illustration for us for oh, okay, yeah, yeah. and stuff. So when you talk to him next, he'll tell you he had like a, a, like a whole list of like more badass names yeah, than yeah. Achilles, and I think they were actually the list was built by his wife. That's sick. So there's a That's bunch cool. of like yeah. I tried to get that, I tried to get my wife yeah. to do that, and she yeah. was like, you know, they're not going to be kids forever, right? And I was yeah. like, yeah, that, yeah so wait, he's going to be a grown man. Exactly. I was like, exactly. it's even better. Yeah, yeah. same like, thing with Cal. I was like, these are the top five names that we're going to have. She's like, yeah, we're going to we're going to rework. Yeah, I said to Amanda that I was like, I feel like Octavius. We're now like Parker's name be like Goku or something. Like, like. And he'd be like, maybe they're just a uh, Japanese anime character. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Goku's a badass motherfucker, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can always you can just nickname him. I yeah. thought about changing his name. Like <laughs> Don't do that. Just make it his middle name. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hide it in the middle. Hide it in the middle. <laughs> what, um, so let's, let's bring it in for a landing. Um, guys, what, um, what advice? There's many, many people in the community mm -hmm. that are just starting their journeys in jujitsu. Just starting their amateur journeys and fighting MMA. What advice? We're just dream chasing. In we're, general. we're maybe yeah exactly. Maybe it's just a dream and they haven't taken any steps. So, um, what advice would you? This is your moment. What advice would you? No pressure. What advice would you? Uh, would you give them? Don't quit. Hell yeah. Like 
jujitsu is the long game. We're talking about playing the long game. Jujitsu could be the long game. You could. The goal is to do jujitsu for as long as you're physically able to do jujitsu. The goal for creating a business is to run the business for however long you can physically mm -hmm. run a business. Yeah. So just don't quit. I mean, yeah, times are going to get tough. It sucks. Yeah. But you can look back after and be like, oh, remember, remember, we almost lost it back there. Remember that? Yeah. yeah we yeah. got it. We got yeah. it. Now. So that's my thing. It's just like, don't quit. Like, it's going to suck. It's going to be hard because yep. it's life. But just, just don't quit. Yeah, the roller coaster of life, ups, down, Swiss turns. I just mm. wrote an email about it last night, night before or whatever. Um, amazing advice, man. Like a, amazing yeah, advice. Yeah. It's what it boils down to. I would, uh, yeah. I would say like just take it day by day. Yeah. Like I'm mm -hmm. 31 years old. Yeah. I'm a professional athlete that's fighting to, to get back to the UFC, and I'm still just myself. I'm taking it day by day. Yeah. yeah. Like, we all struggle day by day, but yeah. Yeah. at the end of the day, if you can sit down and, and just be like, all right, today was a good day. I got yeah. everything that I needed to get done. Then yeah. you're one step closer to that. Yeah. 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 yeah I think that's, those, that's a big thing. Yeah. Those, those two pieces of advice are kind of intertwined. I feel like it's yeah. harder to quit when mm -hmm. you're taking it day by day. Oh, yeah. Because you're taking mental inventory every day and you're saying, okay, look, you know, another another notch on the belt, another mm -hmm. day under, you know, time under tension, another yep. day. You know what I mean? Let's do it again tomorrow. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And, you know and, what I mean? Yeah. What I found is if you keep keep it small, like you're saying, day by day, it's, it's, it's worked out better Yeah. that way. And it's less stress. Like, all right, like he was saying, today was a good day. Like, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll tell Cal, like, today was a really good day. Yeah. And, you know, today wasn't a good day, whatever mm -hmm. it was. Like, if she yeah. was – you know, busy with the kids or she had a bad day at work, like today wasn't a good day. She's like, nah, today wasn't a good day. So as long as you can keep it small, keep it focused on the things that matter, you're good to go. Yeah, I would agree. Don't let anybody else kind of take you away from getting done what you want to get done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have a goal, you say it, and if you can feel it in your heart that like it's 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 something that's really like you're here on earth to do, Yeah. nothing should be able to stop you. Nothing should be able to take you away from it and you should be able to get it done. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you we were we were messing around about the DMs earlier, mm. and I think you made a comment of like, yeah, I shut my DMs off because there's like too many people reacting yeah. to the stories. Where yeah. it's kind of the same thing, right? Yeah. Like you've we work with consequence of habit, which you guys both know, mm. is like starving yourself of all distractions mm -hmm. and negativity yeah. Yeah. that tries to dim the light of oh, yeah. that dream that you have. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and more often than not, people have great. Um, I think they have good intentions, mm. but it ends up when you take in too much of the external yeah. and you're not focusing on your internal, it, it starts to dim the light of your dreams. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, you know, definitely. Absolutely. It starts to, starts to dim it. That was well said though. I feel like a lot of the successful people, we've talked to a lot of successful people in our space and like athletes and people that have actually achieved great things. And a lot, the, same thing rings true as simple as it sounds it's like don't quit like things are hard for a reason and mm -hmm. if it was Bader said to us yesterday if it was easy everybody would do it you yep. have a lot more competition yep you know yep. what I mean but that's the reason why we don't we just had a, this like almost exact conversation with him yesterday yeah. and like you know we're at a point now where we're mm -hmm. at another precipice like in 2020 2021 we were at a, a precipice like mm -hmm. we were we were about to break through yeah you know what I mean uh, a plateau um that we had and then we decided to get super aggressive, cut over to Made in the USA, which we believe in. Yeah. And it was difficult, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it was difficult and it was hard, but we didn't quit. Mm -hmm. And now we're again at that precipice. Yeah. And that's, it came full circle. He was like, yeah, you know, you see what happens when you don't quit. Like yep. you yeah. have to eat his, his words or you got to eat a bunch of shit sandwiches. Um, but then eventually It'll the universe, your higher power, whatever mm -hmm. it is, whatever you believe in mm -hmm. says, You've been at the shit sandwich buffet for enough time. <laughs> yep. Like you, you, you know, the portal opens, the yep. door opens, you know what I mean? And, and you can walk through it. He also says, interestingly enough, which something that correlates with what you're both were saying, um, with taking it day by day is, uh, a bad day doesn't equal a bad life. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, it's just one bad day. Yeah. Yeah. It's just one bad day. You know what I mean? Whether it's a bad day at off at the office, whether it's a bad yeah. day at home, mm -hmm. whatever your office is, yeah. you know what I mean? If it's this or it's the cage, whatever. Um, it doesn't equal a bad life, and it's not over. So, yep. um, mm. sage wisdom from B. Shout out B too. I agree. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what else? What else you want to kick around? No, you guys I mean, I have anything start. else you want to kick we're around? Any? Yeah, we're we okay, got yeah. no clock, so we're just go. We're just Dane went road with no clock. Dane is shaking dude. his head in <laughs> disapproval at the moment. Uh, I gotta, we we did. I 
literally think about on podcasts like this. Like I literally think like, wow, like, this podcast could be three, four hours. Well, like, now is, I know why Rogan does it. Exactly. Does, yeah, does yeah, it this is what happens. Because uh, we can just start quitting jiu-jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm Listen, Joey, baby. The blue belt curse. The blue belt curse. What is it going <laughs> one, one thing, and I say all, one thing I am not is a quitter. It's like, I yeah. just, I do not quit. I identify as a purple belt, though. So. <laughs> do you have any stripes? Do you have stripes on your blue belt? Uh, one, one, one. All right, so you guys are past it. Yeah. yeah. Usually, like, yeah. as soon as you get it, and, like, that yeah, first, like, it's like first, the first, like, six months yeah. after that, the yeah, guys yeah. usually fade. Yeah. You're a two, right? Yeah. yeah. I lost one yesterday. You'll be all right. Gotta get like a, we gotta get like a a grappling, like a grappling match between you guys going on. We just had, we just had one the other night. Yeah. Now I see what goes on over there. Sub only. I smash, I smash smash fast on you. Yeah, he frog splash on my car, dude. Like, literally, like, fuck it. I thought, I didn't know we were going to competition speed. Like, we we had a five by five match. We only, we only have, look, I mean, I'm just been there for three years, so you guys correct me, but I only see really one speed at martinez mm. and it's that speed that's true it's go baby oh, yeah yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's i'm with that i just yeah. wasn't ready for it on the five by five yeah <laughs> gotta go. um gotta go close the question do you wash your belt i mean i think i was training gi anymore but that do i wash is that my a, belt is, that shouldn't be a question yeah that shouldn't be a question nah never yeah you, you never wash, wash your belt you don't wash, you wash your belt no dude. that's how no. that's how a black belt yeah that's the story belt. that's the story that of a black belt. start with that the white belt lot, it gets dude. so dirty just, and gross yeah. over the years because black <laughs> i mean look i in my mind at you least i think i'm belt? doing okay no, you're washing away all the knowledge i know all the power what are you doing what happens is yeah that's exactly it you lost it there you go what happens is i put it in the wet bag and if I don't wash it and the wet bag sits out there baking on it smells like Ave, pheromones. Oh my god! It's yeah, like it's I open up the bag, smacks me in the face. Yeah, it, is, does, it does smell like pheromones. Yeah, like, uh, so like, every once in a while, I don't while, think I hit it. I've ever run run into the issue of my belt stink like no. getting nah, stenched. Yeah. Unless yeah. you put it with your gear. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah, separate it from happens. your gear, it might yeah, not yeah, stink. There you go. Yeah, I just I just wash this. Don't put it in my wet bag. Wash your belt. Wash your belt. You're one of them. This is occasional. You're one of them. Every day it's occasional. Still do it. That's disrespectful. Still do it. Do it once. Yeah. And this is why I identify as a purple belt. Like I needed another reason to get an ass whooping tomorrow. What's today? Wednesday. Yeah. Well, Thursday. Tomorrow I'll be. Well, I actually hurt. Tim, I actually heard that you. Off, you I actually heard that you were going to do this and Thursday soon. I think you should cover your. I think you should cover like he's on his arse. He's fest. He's fest. Tuesdays and Thursdays are the best days. <laughs> the best days. Yeah. I'm having I, I, honestly, guys. Like I'm having a blast. Like the first, um, the first time. Listen, you're gonna get smashed. It sucks. Yeah. yeah. Especially because there's no technique or no warm yeah. up or anything like that, and it's that much different than like just like a traditional class. Oddly enough, I, it's kind of. When like is his technique supposed to level up though? Meets with you guys. When he goes over to. Class and does, yeah. his, does his little PJ party over <laughs> That's there. That's true. Yeah, dude. That, we, we, so There's what? literally a black curtain that gets pulled between the two yeah, rooms. We, 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 we don't want any. Parts. They, they don't had, want any pajama party the, stuff the, over the there. Pajama, like Sean walked by me the other day and moved me. I'm in the, the, the geek class, and he's like, "Yeah, you're doing pajamas today." Like, yeah, it's a PJ party. Get out of here. Like you guys all started with geese. None no more. I don't yeah, know. No more. Yeah. I think I, I, I think I only. Yeah, we only we had, we did geek because we. We had to. That's all there was, really. Yeah, yeah. Back yeah. back when yeah. we started. Yeah, when we started, there was all it wasn't was. like today where it's, it's like strictly no gi stuff. It was guys who were really good in the gi would just take the top off and then they would just roll sure. no gi. Yeah, that's, that's just how it was. That's so funny. Yeah. I feel like. Do you guys feel like no gi is the the new age? Like it's like that's yeah. like where. Yeah, yeah. I think I think gi so. competitions have kind of fallen off just because of yeah. the way everything's marketed now. Everyone and you is, really can't. I've not to cut you off, but you no, can't understand it. Like you can. Like nogi grappling is kind of understandable to this a casual watcher. Yeah, like you just like if you don't train jujitsu, you're not gonna like a gi a gi match. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I think mm -hmm. in order to get better at gi, like training nogi helps. Yeah, because if you strictly just train gi and you transfer to nogi, what's the first thing you grab? Yeah, you can't don't you have can't, a lapel. And I'm Dude, like, that's I like, trained gi for the. For primarily for the longest time, and I I didn't know what to do in no yeah when really. when you know gi it's difficult yeah. you have it's completely different grips and everything like that yeah, yeah. that's so true yeah. and it's super transferable like you were saying to the, to the viewer like you yeah. see like intricate grips of like certain things and guys are like sitting there for a minute with like certain grips and you're like what's going on well yeah. and mm -hmm. look at just look at CJI yeah. that yep. was ridiculously entertaining yep. and it was it was great yep. like I I love watching it like the Rotolo brothers them going back and forth with mm. uh, who's Tackett. Tackett, yeah. Mm -hmm. when that, that, that match was insane. Yeah. That's crazy. 
Yeah. I think that's definitely the the wave. I don't want to say wave of the future, but that's like the yeah, what everyone's going to be drawn towards. That's going how forward. they're going to be able to make yeah. grappling a a major thing. Yeah. 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 Plus, I've always yeah. thought that the gi was like an easy way for white belts and blue belts to kind of just survive against bigger belts because you can just yeah. hold on and stall. Yep. Like yeah. I mean, there's obviously different different types of chokes and stuff you can do with a lapel, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, the majority yeah. of the time. You can slow it down. I feel yeah, like yeah you can slow it down. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I can yeah. slow the pace. Completely down. different paces. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And like that's like a major thing. Like you have to be able to overload someone's processing mm -hmm. uh, with the with nogi. Like yep. I, I think that's awesome. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. Because uh, <laughs> if I go tomorrow, if I go into the nogi room, they're gonna tell everybody watch my belt. <laughs> and then if I go into the game, uh, room, no, we'll I'm gonna we'll get called better than Arnold. Yeah, we'll keep so, it here as the, yeah, all of our viewers. Keep it right uh, here. We'll keep, we'll it, right keep it here until this gets posted, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then we'll talk about it. Uh, two weeks ago was the last time I washed my belt. There you go. It's, it's over now. Oh it's my now. god. Yeah, <laughs> it's over yeah. Now. He marks it down on his calendar. Yeah. yeah. So, I also, you sure. know, listen, it's over. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I've broken the habit. I've broken the bad habit. A virgin bed habit. I can't wait to hear about this as the next uh, family event. <laughs> he's really stinks. His belt stinks. I don't yeah. know why. Why is this thing? He, he says you told him never to wash this thing. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. You know my mom's going. Yeah, come she's at like, you. what are you doing? My mom's going to come at you. Yeah, that's gross. What are you? What, she's going to DM me. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. She always she always goes and hits yeah. me up on the yeah, yeah. Instagram. Not Kyle though, because he doesn't. Yeah, he's, he's got them shut off. No DM. Yeah. Nobody does. No, getting, one, no one's sliding. If you're getting DMs from uh, from Mama B, from my mom. And you're in the fuel hunt community. Consider yourself special. Cause Some, she, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? She gravitates towards certain people in the community. The mother and, of fuel hunt. Yeah, yeah. 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 And number one customer for a bunch of years. I agree. So, yeah. Biggest supporter. Shout out. Shout out, Mom <laughs> V. All right. Where, uh, not that the community doesn't know, but let's tell them anyway. Where can uh, the community find you on the interwebs? Uh, I'm on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it now. <laughs> Instagram. Uh, mainly on Instagram. That's really, I mean, I, I just like look at like, crazy headlines on x and twitter now so mm -hmm. um but yeah i usually unlike him i'll usually answer a dm or two so <laughs> yeah. hit me up on instagram chris Dawkins, uh mma i think is my handle so yeah yeah i'm yeah. just kyle underscore Dawkins on uh both x and twitter or whatever and uh instagram X X can be a dark hole sometimes. Like you get Stop. some yeah. threads. It like, bro, there's it, some yeah. wild shit goes on in there depends too. Depends on whichever one you want to, <laughs> whatever rabbit hole you want to yeah, go down. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we can, how much time you got? Because we can go down a lot. <laughs> yeah, of yeah, I'm off the Dane. Dane is not look at that. That's, that's we got a lot. Of, we, got a lot of we got a lot of rabbit holes. We got a lot of rabbit holes. Dane's trying to make dinner tonight. Thank you for that. All right, guys. Thanks for coming on, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow for an ass beating. Um, yeah. And uh, I'll leave the field with a reminder: always choose hard work over handouts. Always choose effort over entitlement. Remember, no one owns you. No one owes you. You're one of the few. Now let's hunt. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.